Hi, and welcome to this series of tutorials that have been made to help you get the most out of your trial of Power Project. This video shows how to create a new project. When you open the Power Project application, you're brought to the File tab and the Open menu, where you'll be able to see any recent projects and open those by clicking here on the right hand side. As a new user, you may not have any recent projects, but you are able to browse the PC or network for an existing Power Project file to open up. Or, if your company uses Power Project Vision to centrally control and manage their projects, you'll be able to log into the Vision Cloud and open up a file from that location. But to create a new project, you'll navigate to the New menu on the left-hand side where you'll see a number of templates are available. Templates are designed to help make project creation easier. Today I'm going to use the construction template and that's a great generic template for any new project you create, especially construction projects. There are other templates here for different purposes. We need to fill in a few basic details about our project. So on the right hand side, First of all, complete the file name. This is the name that your project file will be stored under in your computer and it shows the location where it will be stored by default. So usually that's the C drive, my documents, where there's a folder created for Power Project and projects will be stored in that folder. But you can browse and save your project wherever you choose. Some further details to be completed, the title of the project, who the project is for and who the project is by, and this is information that will typically show up on any printouts that you make of the project in the future. So we complete this so it will be shown on the border files that are printed with our project. Next, enter in the start date of the project. You can choose any date in the future or even in the past. But if you don't know the start date of your project when you begin creating the project, you can just leave it on the current date and start planning. And it's really good to know that you can plan a project, plan the tasks durations, put your links and logic in, and have the software calculate the overall duration and the end date of the project. And you can always return at a later date and enter a new start date, press a button, and the software will recalculate all of the dates from that new start date for you. At the bottom here you've got some login details and we don't need to worry too much about that. That's only for those using the enterprise version of Power Project where there are multiple users collaboratively working on the same project. So we'll just leave the username as admin and there's not a password to complete. Click on create and that opens up the main working screen of Power Project. As a new user, you'll probably see the screen looking like this, with multiple areas shown. Now this screen at the bottom is the bar and task properties, and this is really useful once you've created a project, and the details there, and you can come to this dialog box and view information about your tasks. You can trace logic, you can write notes and access links to other documents, so it's a really useful area once you've got the project created. But to keep it hidden away until I need it, I click on the little pin on the right hand side here. This minimizes the window, but keeps the tab available. So should I click on it or hover on it in the future, the dialog box opens up for me. Move away and the bar and task properties minimizes out of view. So we're left with three main areas shown horizontally across the screen here. And if you put your cursor on the left hand edge of these, they can be moved independently. On the left hand side, we have the project view. This is a great navigational tool around the project. Once you've created a project structure, you'll see your project tree here. 
and you'll be able to navigate to different parts of the project. You'll also have access to many library items, things that you may like to drag and drop to allocate to tasks in your project. Things like resources, costs, code libraries, calendars. There's lots of things already available here on the construction template available for you to use. And you can view the contents just by clicking on a plus sign in the project view. Next, the table and our table columns shown by default. These can be edited, the columns can be moved around and we can add additional columns to the table to meet our reporting requirements. More about that in a later tutorial. On the right hand side we have the bar chart and when we're ready to start creating a project we can type directly into the table cells here and our tasks will show on the bar chart on the right hand side. Finally, at the top of the screen, we have the date zone and this is scalable. If you were to put your cursor on one of the red lines and drag to the right, so for a short term program, I might choose to show only one or two months at a time on the bar chart, or I can scale the date zone to show a year or more at one time. 